this is Let the Freak Speak. This is Nick. Um, Bearcat Valenzuela. And we got Nathaniel Orchata Lopez with us here today, like always. Like always. No, that was... Sorry, that was premature. No, you don't need that. <laughs> I deserve it. You're crickets. I'm sorry. Say it again. Don't. Okay. Okay. And today we have a guest. I would like Nathaniel to introduce Our special the guest. guest today is our home our home body brother. It me. Carlitos Velasquez. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hi. Hello. If you guys know <laughs> Ruben Weber, you'll know you'll know Carlos for sure. Who's Ruben Weber? You don't know Ruben Weber? No. He's my cousin. <laughs> <laughs> He's Carlos's cousin that was in our grade. Old, oh, okay, older cousin. Yeah, the yeah. grade that you would have been in mm-hmm. if you didn't get held back. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, finding out facts here today, people. Nick got held back in second grade. First grade. Even worse. What didn't you do that... Um, I didn't know anything. I didn't go to kindergarten. You didn't go to kindergarten? No. Did you kill the class pet? No. Ooh. I w- Did we, you ever have a class pet? No. We had a guinea pig, a ferret. You had a ferret? Uh, a ferret? A lizard. How many class pets did you have? Uh, no, we no, we had different throughout different, the years. You always had a class pet? No. I, uh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, not always. I couldn't just take it. They never... You know what they don't do anymore? They don't let you take the animal anymore. Yeah. Why yeah, do you it's think, a class pet. Dude? Well, it, probably because they were like... <laughs> That's why you got held back. Well, huh? the, uh, dude, <laughs> no. I was actually just watching an episode of, of a show, and it was just like... This kid was waiting to get like for his turn with the class pet, uh-huh. and he was like, "I can't wait to fucking see this class pet." And he's just like, Is "This, this, kid, this kid's kid got you knew? dark motives." No, it was on a TV show. Oh no! But it was about it was about the class pet, like going home with the class. Well, pet. you're gonna bring up a TV show as an you're example. Not, uh, no, as an example. No, I don't me, care. Let me no. segue my thought with this. This always. This is it. why. People, they stopped like letting kids go home is because kids were torturing the fucking animal. Let me guess, it was The Simpsons. No, oh, I'm sure there's a Simpsons episode. Probably Simpsons the always Simpsons did, did it. <laughs> yeah, Simpsson- I'm sorry, they live. They're just they've been around for so long that they can literally imitate anything I'm, in life. I'm trying to think of a cartoon. Can't think of it's one not from a cartoon. Oh, Drake and Josh. No, I Drake wish. and Josh. They do that to to Megan's uh, hamster. They take a picture of it. That's her hamster, though. Yeah. Yeah. But it was dead, alive. Yeah, that has nothing to do with what we were talking about, though. We were talking about uh, class fifth, Oh, yeah, we're talking yeah, about class In fifth grade, uh, oh, that, that one that teacher one. with the glass eye, he had Mr. the Habitat. Egan? Yeah, yeah. The Habitat Club. Did you have anything like that in Oracle? No, we didn't have glass eye people. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mr. Egan lived in Oracle. I, I, I guess Are you like, trying to give my town a bad name? Yeah, because I guess he robbed, like he robbed from the Circle K. What? What? Yeah, <laughs> like he got banned from Circle K because he was like, "Do you know this story?" I mean, it's a rumor. It's a rumor. I'm uh-huh. Spreading rumors about Casey Egan. <laughs> 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 yeah, he's Kyle Bowman's uh, uncle or something. Fuck that guy, Kyle Bowman. Yeah. Oh, Kyle Bloom. It's probably true then. <laughs> it's probably true. Oh, wait, we can't say his name. Who's stopping me? <laughs> Mark Sanchez? Yeah, you're right. Mark Sanchez. No motherfucker listens yeah. to this podcast. <laughs> and if they do, and if someone, find, if someone finds out about it. I'm just waiting for those papers, dude. What the, papers? The, those those papers, those documents. Those suing papers, the slander that we <laughs> we uh, we should just start rumors. We should start rumors. We're a podcast that's known for starting rumors. Who who who's the good? Richie. No, that's too close. We need someone that we know on this, like Kyle Bloman. Okay, someone just random name that we know. Yeah, Rowdy Richards. Rowdy, <laughs> Rowdy Richards. Do you know Rowdy Richards? Uh, no. He's an Oracle kid. <laughs> what? How do you know Rowdy Richards? He went to school so well. Oh my god, that's so. You crazy. can find him in the Rowdy yearbook Rowdy in the yearbooks that's, from two thousand twelve to two thousand fourteen. That's, that's a name. That's a drop. Right, dude. We've been dropping names this whole episode. Oh shit! No, Carlos Velasquez is it. here. What does that mean? It means we're going to drop names. No, I'm just kidding. He dropped a name earlier. Dave Grohl. Joseph Gonzalez. 
Yeah, he snorted a condom. Snorted a condom. Yeah, he, that was like a fad for a while. No, he snorted everything I can think yeah, of. Yeah, he would. He would I, just he, like snort stuff. The one on thing trays. he would always do was look at people, spit on his, you know, spit right there where uh, spit you know, on his like the thumb. thumb, and then like Sniff snort it. it. Yeah, yeah. salt. It's disgusting. Yeah. He was Mexican, Mexican candy. A real like, American hero. <laughs> That's American hero. <laughs> you he, know what? He, he, he was funny because he would come up to me and he would be like. Dude, I'm, he's like, I'm going to fight you. And I'm like, I don't care, dude. He's I'm pretty just like, sure I've seen him snort pencil shavings. Oh, yeah, dude. He did. But, like I said, he snorted everything. Like, yeah, that, hey. like pencil shavings is in the wood. I mean, like, no, the no, graphite. The, like, yeah, the, crushed the, up the, graphite. The, the, oh. Yeah. Whoa. The quote-unquote lead. Yeah. <laughs> like, I think. The lead that's not lead anymore. Because I'm pretty sure he was in the same class we were in for science. Was it? Whose class was it? Mr. Ubetha. Best teacher ever. And didn't care. Mr. Bit was pretty cool. He would talk for like an hour, let you do he was a good coach, s- one paper, like one sheet, and then, you know. You know what was the coolest the thing ever? Talk. Like, so my science teacher, his wife, uh, Miss Owens. Mm-hmm. Um, so I failed. Account- I heard she stuck a snake up her snatch. Where'd you hear that from? Whoa. It's a rumor. Are you sure it was her? That sounds something more like Miss Geo. Whoa. Because Miss Gio was like this crazy hippie lady, but she was always angry and stuff or something. I don't know. Yeah, she... But let me get back to my story before you had to just ruin it. Oh, what? About about cool teachers. (laughs) (laughs) About cool science teachers. (laughs) Is, um, so I failed chemistry, like, and I had, I had to, I had to take, well, I was in, I was like a year ahead. Stupid. Oh, you're a year ahead and you failed chemistry. I failed the class because I really, one, I didn't care. I, and it's funny because I can. It's easy to say you don't I care, isn't it? I convinced one of my friends to leave forensics, which was an easy A, mm-hmm. to come to chemistry, and he failed chemistry as well. But uh, so I had which to, friend. I, uh, I, doesn't matter. Yes, it does. No, it we're dropping names. Gary, my ass. This we're dropping. <laughs> okay, names. see. Okay, see, so no one listens to this fucking. Podcast. <laughs> and it's true, Mark. If you're listening, Mark, <laughs> spread the word. We're saying names. <laughs> um, but so I was in Miss Lou's class uh-huh. and um, I was like one of the other like three. I was one of three upperclassmen that was in this like sophomore class mm-hmm. or it was a freshman class it was general science. Yeah. And she just gave us a packet and she's like, you guys can go like sit somewhere and do these wherever. So I would go to Miss Miss Owens class and she would help me do my packet. She's like kind of giving me the answers. And then the next year I was, uh, I was her first hour TA and I would come to school high every single day. And she, I would just like sit down in her chair. <laughs> you say smoke I, this I, with no, me. I, so I would sit in the chair next to her desk uh-huh. and she would just look at me. And, and you rub her like. I just smile. And she's just like. You fucking. And then she'd make me do roll. <laughs> and I'd have to call out kids names. And oh. I would just be super high. That's lame. That's lame. You could have done a better story than that. Just I'm spread a rumor hey, about her. Here's a story. Okay. One time I snuck out on lunch break. Okay. And it was like me, my brother, uh-huh. and some other friend. Okay. And the security guard ended up like trying to catch us because we were like smoking some wash. <laughs> and like one of us didn't make it. Yeah, my brother's name was David at the time. I was at CDO. What? I don't know. That That's... never happened. That never happened? No. No. Well, it was something that did happen. But it wasn't the watch. It was... Uh, you guys we, got trailed. No, no. We, we, we would go smoke at the church next to the next to the school. And um, we would smoke with some kids. I don't remember their names, so I can't name drop them. One of them name was Carmen. I can't... I don't know his last name. He was a white kid. His, name, his first name was Carmen? He was Hitler's... You know, imagination, you know, what he wanted. He you was know? Hitler's perfect youth. You, Hitler's perfect youth, you know. And, uh, you know, we would smoke with these kids and, you know, we, we'd be rolling hard. Dude, I'm talking <laughs> about blunts after blunts. Like, it's fucking high times. Like, on like with us, dude. Yeah, dude. Would you guys not? No, no, in the morning, it's high times with us. Oh, like, yeah, fucking okay. three fucking, like, bombers, bro. Like, no joke, no joke. And we, we would supply it, bro. Like, oh, I know, of course. Yeah. It, well, it was you, guys one, were, you guys were probably bringing weed to them. Yeah. They were probably like, yo, can you pick me up an eighth? Yeah, it was one bomber. Of course. But like, one bomber is enough. It's like they three were just bombers. Like, Dude, can you buy me? A, can you? I'll give you 10 bucks if you bring me a blunt. No, I never gave people weed. Never brought people weed. No? No. But uh, so we would smoke and then we'd have them go. And then me and David would stay back because like 
sometimes security would we, wait at we the stop them. Yeah. And then like one time they did stop them and then they took them and then we were just able to go, go after it. And <laughs> See, that's what I was trying to reference to. Mm-hmm. Uh, Carlos, what about uh, Ironwood? Were there any? Uh, I was, I was going to say, um, <laughs> I'll name drop Kimberly Blystra. I think she was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, the one day I didn't go to school, they all got caught, uh-huh. oh. and they all got suspended, oh, I think, and that was fine. Where where would they smoke? Uh, it was like he said, like some ditch. You guys are going to go smoke some tunnels. Dude, it's always a wash. Like, there's yeah, also a wash. Al- there's always a wash. Yeah, there's always a wash. In Arizona, there's a wash <laughs> that you just smoke in. I remember fucking like walking down the hallways in mm-hmm. Samuel, and some kid, this, it's just like this kid, I'm, oh, we're name driving, his name's Armando Noriega. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And he's just like, uh, uh, he comes out of the bathroom and he's just like, yo, bro, I just fucking, like, he just smoked in there and he's like telling me, but he's like, yo, you want to, I was like, no, dude, I'm good. And I was like, actually, you should be careful, Mr. Trejo's over there. (laughs) Mr. Trejo's like walking on the opposite side of the campus, like down the thing. And he's just like, oh, shit, thanks, bro. And I was just like, whatever. I don't care. I remember when Peasley got caught fucking smoking spice. We were in choir and, um. I forgot, dude. Peasley almost didn't graduate with us because of it. Peasley had to, like, ask to come back to San Juan. Because of the spice smoking? Uh, So what happened was we were in choir. What happened was we were in choir. (laughs) And uh, (laughs) fucking everybody would smoke spice. Like, Efren, Brian, they'd all go smoke spice in the bathroom. In choir class? Yeah. (laughs) Because Miss uh, Miss J would just let us out. And uh, But I wouldn't do it because my mom... You know, my mom fucking worked at the school. So I'm like, no, nah, I'm not going to do that. Devil's rejects. And I remember Peasley came back. And then Mr. Trejo just comes in. He's just like. Peasley just fuck. Oh, it's for those listening. Obviously, no one's watching. We don't have cameras. I pointed him to the thumb back. Like, you know, you I'd, say, I'd say what? What? What are you going to do? I don't know. You're and high. then and then as they're walking me to the <laughs> Nick, to the office, I walk home. Nick, think about the few times. <laughs> Nick, think about the few times that you were high on spice. Huh? What would you have done? Um, cry. <laughs> <laughs> you would have had a mental <laughs> breakdown. I have a mental breakdown. Rethink. I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't, I okay, didn't well, know. It wasn't that bad, but I didn't like it. I'll name <laughs> drop everyone who was there. Name them. Drop them. <laughs> Oh, I, I was there. <laughs> it was me. That was a good time. I convinced Nick, I convinced Nick to smoke place one time. How many people do you know fucked at a dugout? What is this? Fast times at Ridgemont High. Mm-hmm. Wait, that's a scene. Yeah. Well, so are we need not name dropping towns now or like name dropping? Yeah, let's name drop towns. Worst town. <laughs> Worst town. Uh huh. Were you born, Nick? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, when I was in um, fucking uh, California, when we were just driving past one of the dispensaries, um, the Jungle Boys, just outside in the alley, like the uh, rappers, the Jungle Boys. No, like maybe I don't know. They have there's a dispensary called the Jungle Boys. Jungle Boys. The Jungle Book Boys. The Jungle Book Boys. Blue. And then uh, <laughs> out there, there's uh, two boys, uh, you know, heating up on a can. They're dope. Couldn't wait to be like that. Couldn't wait. You have some crazy stories about when you used to fucking work at the gas station in California, too. Uh, you were, like, friends with a homeless person or something? A uh, friend with a homeless person. I wasn't friends with homeless people. I did, they would start fires. Near your gas station? <laughs> yeah. Like trash can fires? <laughs> did, so, did like, you uh, tell him, hey, uh... Okay, so, like, huh? we have this four-way highway, but, like, all the, like, into the highway, there's just, like, woods because of, like, where we live, we live, like, more out. In, in the nor- Northern California? Yeah. yeah. Northern the California where there's, more like... More Alpine? A, yeah, more Alpine. But you don't live in Alpine. No, I don't Which live in Alpine. Which is before San Diego. But I would wrestle the trees. Okay. I can talk to them. What are you... Uh, but, uh, they, they lived outside in this, like, um, like, in this area that's, like, open between the highways... And you'd see him walking, and I was crazy. I always wanted to walk there, but I didn't want to be scared, you know? You need to find their camp. Yeah, dude. Like, <laughs> dude, like I didn't want to do that. But, like, um... Well, you should have, dude. They, they probably would have offered you a They started fires over there, and, like, sometimes they get in trouble. No one would... Well, I know what's the crazy thing, though. They don't... They never take them to prison. 
they no, never they, don't, they don't go to jail or anything. They just they, they that, cause that's they, free they, housing. They'll take their dog. Dude, they pull them shit. Dude, they pull them They'll dude, take their dog. They, they pull a John Rambo on them. They take him to the end of town and say, Fucking walk the other way. Get the fuck out of this town. Mm-hmm. And then and then they come back and they start assaulting everybody with their military prowess. You know what I heard is a thing? What? Uh when people are high on meth, usually they do tell people to call the cops on them. Yeah, I've had someone say to call the cops. Because they're high on meth? Oh, they, they, people do a lot of things like I've that. I've had some people tell yeah. me some crazy... But like, like one thing they do a lot like, is like they call the cops on themselves. Well, yeah. Yeah, I, I can see that. I've seen people that were like at that point where they probably needed to like... I, I remember there was this dude at Safeway that would come up to me and he like knew me because I just like, I would talk to him whenever he would come through my line. Mm -hmm. I would just talk to him. I knew that he was fucked up. And he told me, he's like, I don't think I could ever stand the taste of G in my mouth again. And I was just like, okay. What does that mean? G is like, what's G, Carlos? Meth? I think so. Holy shit. But so he, so what had happened was, what had happened was (laughs) he was, he was standing in line with light bulbs, dropped them. Came through my line with just something and then asked me, or he came through my line, got some cigarettes, and then asked me if he could use the phone. And he would always ask if he could use the phone. And the last time I ever saw him, he came up to me. I was like walking, like not like in front of the cash registers. And he came up to me and he was just like, hey, man, can I use your phone? But, <laughs> but the way he did, dude, he looked like he was about to fucking cry. Like, and it was crazy. And Ew. he would like, he would have, he would, I, I, he had problems, man. He was probably had mental issues as well. He would um, wear multiple layers of clothing, like women's clothing, his clothing, just like stuff, oh like layers God. and stuff. Did I ever see this man? Probably not. I think it was before your time. Oh, okay. You know what I remember, though? Uh, I remember being in the office at work and getting, like, having my ma- my manager was telling me some shit, probably. And she gets a call. From someone complaining about <laughs> about someone they're... didn't turn off their car when they were filling up their gas dude, tank. Dude, it's not the fucking 70s anymore, <laughs> yeah. dude. No one's going to die. Who dies? What kind of cartoony shit is this? When people can just complain about a car being on. Like, it doesn't happen all the time. I'm pretty sure they don't do it all the time. They're just doing it. But, like, they literally thought a bomb was going to go off. Like, well, dude, no, like the, they're like... The dude, this well, is what the dude said. He was like, I... He's like, I was in a gasoline fire before. Good for him. If you, <laughs> how, Okay, how are you in a gasoline fire, but you survived? Like, you were probably nowhere near that gasoline fire. But he could... He was probably like, really scared. That's, that's like me saying if that gas... If that did happen, and then I left the place and I survived, I was like, I was in a gasoline fire. Yeah, because you were. Yeah, but it didn't matter, you know? <laughs> it wouldn't change the fact that, like, maybe, someone... Maybe it traumatized him. Yeah, his that's clothing, just, like, hair could have been like, on fire. You start to or, think about, like... But dude, uh, no, the, the most no, what, no, what it was was it was just a, an old white dude being fucking dude. I literally looked it up yeah, afterwards. Being like, there's like, there's literally no really known reports of anyone having their car like exploded, explode and while they- they're pumping in gas. Like, they have more footage of people, you know, smoking a cigarette next to their, you know, next to the car, and then that gets lit. And Dude, stuff. I saw a video of someone just, like, someone was filling up their, their truck, and they were just, like, kind of, like, standing, up, like, by their door, their front door and just kind of, like, peering off. And then someone walks up to the thing, s- takes their, their pump out of the dude's truck and starts pouring it on themselves, lights themselves on fire and starts freaking out. And the dude's just, like... No way. Grabs the fucking gas oh. pump and just like puts it back. And the dude just like, the dude that's on fire is just running away still. And <laughs> I was just like, dude, how would you not notice that someone's like trying to take your gas first off? Be like, hey man, that's coming out of my fucking paycheck. First, and first off, that's my money. Second off, don't try and kill yourself at a gas station <laughs> in front of how me. How inconsiderate. Exactly, dude, I'm there. I'm important. What would you like? How'd you see this video? It was, it was Facebook. You see the cra- you see crazy shit on social crazy media. The internet, the internet had some cool stuff. <laughs> you back know, on, back on in Facebook, the early days. I did see the whole video of the body cam of them like chasing this guy through Tucson. 
Like, this cop was fucking running through neighborhoods, dude. It Is he looked, jumping, like, walls and stuff? Dude, it, it looks like a movie? Yeah, dude, it literally didn't seem like that guy was really worth the effort to keep chasing like that, you know? What I feel they, like they would have found him later. What did they charge know? him with? Possession. Yeah, well, he, you know, he did have a gun, you know, uh, but okay. he had charges. That's why he ran and stuff. And then, like, um... But, like, he ended up, you know, he got, like, cornered. So he started gun battling them. They, he didn't shoot anyone. He got shot twice. <laughs> gun battling? But, that sounds like they hit like, each other with like, guns. Like, it's oh. like the cop worked the whole way to chase this person into a gun battle. You know, like, like they just kept going. Like, they could have just, like, let it go until later on. That but was like, probably 2019. 2020, they just started shooting. Dude, like... It's so crazy, dude. I can't imagine worth the effort just to end it with a gun battle and then you arrest him. Like, I couldn't do that. I don't even know if that's and, justice. And, dude, they're, they're, he's, he's just like, hey, man, he needs to go to the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> he's just like, hey, man, hey, man. <laughs> oh, shots out, blood and blood out. Uh, fucking great movie. <laughs> uh. I can't imagine that. I can't imagine just hopping through fences. And no, can you imagine like kicking dogs? Could, could and you? Shit could you? Well, yeah. <laughs> oh, dude! I remember watching this documentary and Is it about kicking dogs. No, it, it has to do with dogs. Michael though. Vick's backyard. No, but it's Michael Vick's best dream. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> or am I? But um, so it's like th- these people found like a few seeds and some like tin, like some burnt tin foil and. Mm-hmm. In a trash can, mm-hmm. and they raided this dude's house to only find a pipe. They shot his dog, <laughs> <laughs> fucking murdered his dog. Oh wait, I think I saw that video. Yeah, like his multiple dogs. No, he's like, well, this one's only one. Oh, oh, and it's just like his dog's barking. They fucking shoot it, dude. I seen this one of they were like going into they were going to this guy's house. They apprehended the people. They he told them where the dogs were, and then you know they saw the dogs and like they could have like really you know avoided the dogs avoided the dogs but instead they mm. were just waiting for the dogs and like the only they killed two big ones you know like probably pit bulls or uh-huh. something but then like there's also like a little chihuahua that comes out and they let that one live and yeah. i was like dude I was, chihuahuas I was like, are like the deadliest <laughs> <laughs> i was like imagine if i started attacking them they just because dude they were using shock and blasts like doof doof just like uh, two dogs dead just, from shotgun. You know what's crazy though? And I, you know, I you see the dog like ah, it's like inter- spinning. Do you do you ever oh, yeah. do you ever wonder like why? Like it's interesting that um, if you they shoot if dogs. You, if you were to kill a, a police dog, yeah. you get charged with killing an officer. Officer, yeah. They kill your but, dog. Exactly. Your dog's a civilian. <laughs> 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 It's a civilian. The first, the first legal case. <laughs> it's my seeing guy dog. Like uh, it's my service dog. Yeah, you kill yeah, retired police uh-huh. dogs are the huge. You killed a, a citizen I, of the government. I lived near two uh, retired police dogs, and they would attack us, and uh, they, we they would know. always have to avoid them with rocks and hey, kicking dude, them and shit. Hey. And then the fucking hey, dude, hey. the ex cop. Hey, they serve for our country. Yeah, fucking right. <laughs> And like he would tell us, um, don't touch our dogs. Was like, he a cop? Was he a cop? Pol- they're like, they're, they're dangerous. They're police dogs. I was like, yeah, they're fucking. Pol- yeah. Why are they out here? Then like- fucking keep them inside. It's like, I can't. They'll fucking tear me up. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't want to deal with them. He's like, they actually, they, they, so they were trying they run to attack the house. Us. So we would fight these dogs every now and then, dude. <laughs> like just like not walking through yeah. your property. Yeah. I was like, I'm just trying to get fucking yeah. home. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Fucking have to get sticks and fucking yell at them and shit. One time they almost did bite me. Yeah, I, I, I fucking. That's one of my like. That's an actual fear. Of but mine. they were like but having to dude, fight a dog. They were, dude, they were smart too. Like they knew how to come the at police dogs. Yeah. Yeah. they're like they're coming yeah. from both sides. Hey. Bro, they're just like hey. everybody dog. knows. Everybody knows like, that. Fuck. Po- Those dogs went to college. Dude, yeah, no, police dogs. I went, had to kill them. <laughs> police dogs went to college and they're ex cokeheads. <laughs> because. <laughs> because <laughs> Said fucking yeah. yelled to smell coke. You have to fucking give a dog coke. They were smelling the coke before you know, you know, even and they were smelling good coke uh-huh. they before they even hit their coke. nose. They were like, "This is the this is the coke the cops do." <laughs> <laughs> so it's the good stuff. It's the, it's the most pure. Fuck those dogs. Dude. Yeah. It's, it's before getting, it goes back to the streets. I remember one time getting. <laughs> hey, dude, one eighty seven on a dog. <laughs> <laughs> uh, going up a hill, being chased by two dogs. 
on my bike and they're like they're coming in like you know when you're going up there, like, your tires oh up yeah they're like they're like on both sides and you finally beat them so you, you go make, down you the hill yeah <laughs> he's like fuck you yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know oh dude running away from dogs is exhilarating I wish running away from anything I remember like being a kid and just like in like junior high uh-huh. asking to stay at like be, be the old I'm staying at his house he's staying at my house and then we just go like run around town mm-hmm. and then you know obviously kids have curfew so any car you see as a kid you just think oh it's a fucking cop or your parents exactly so uh-huh. then you just take off running and you're just like running through alleys and stuff uh, stupid shit you can hear people in their yards at nighttime, you're just like, what are they doing? And they're just like smoking a blunt. And they're just like, what the fuck is that? Dude? <laughs> <laughs> what are those high pitched voices? It <laughs> sounds like some cracking over there. You <laughs> the sound like static. <laughs> static, like static shock. <laughs> so you're static shock. Like Wayne's, sta- it's like static X. <laughs> Want to take a break? Play a song? Keep it up? What song? Uh, Sunset City. What's, oh the shit! New, the new single just dang. You want to release? N- no, let's keep going. Let's, let's keep, keep rolling. Going. Yeah. Okay, whatever. Let me hit your pen. Okay, well, here. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Carlos, how have you been? How are you handling this quarantine? Great. Yeah? Never felt more sane. Really? Yeah. No, you're lying. You just see how crazy people get. You know? <laughs> <laughs> uh, are you? Uh, are you enjoying yourself though? I, I am. Too? Yeah. I bought a new amp. Mm-hmm. How's yeah. your garden? great yeah my cacti or like the cacti all of yeah. them actually They're like arm's length now okay you growing any plants right now of the marijuana no no it's no. been a while since i moved just like mm-hmm. getting space to do it mm-hmm. i how, think i'm still licensed how's your shit <laughs> coming along great just about ready to record some songs and tell, some good stuff for the toilet about, some, oh yeah yeah, we're gonna do some dope shit. Yeah. What about your other project? Uh, Jovi and Influence. Yeah, now it's out in the public. Yeah, now now it's a uh, now it's spoken. It's spoken. We can copyright it, and people will say, "No, I came up with some that ideas." Name. And then we'll say, "No, this is where it came. This is where it was physically put into society. It's huh. not public domain, bitch. Someone else owns it." You must know Carlos Velasquez. Be like. <laughs> They're all wearing Jovian Influence shirts after this episode releases. What's uh, Jovian Influence? Uh, it's just a bunch of songs that write. Right now, like, hundreds of just scraps of music. Of, um, just written word or? Mostly guitar. And mostly guitar. Some yeah. words. Okay, okay. How many songs did you make that were, like, really, like, synthetic? You know, like, with, like, drum machines and all of that? The ones I like the most. The ones you like the most? <laughs> yeah, maybe like, like five, six. Like lately. Dane Air and that? Or just whenever I have like the energy to do something, like it's record. Like put something together. To like have drums and stuff going on. It's like. Yeah. What, when's the last uh, song you put together? Um, It doesn't really have a name yet. Was it the one <laughs> you sent me recently? Yeah. That's a pretty good one. Did we listen to it? Uh, I have it on my phone. Perhaps. Should we play that song? Should we play that song? Like, go for it. It's yeah, a so rough they, little yeah, old demo. Yeah. There we go. Here we go. There we go. We've got we've got Carlos on, Carlos on the track. Okay, so um, yeah, like what we've been doing. Let me see. That's a whole different podcast. I can't. You do you? Is that what you titled it? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so we're gonna play Carlos's song, a little demo song called "You Do You." While we take a little wait, break. Wait, wait, uh, what kind of song is this? Is it um, synthetic or is it? I don't remember honestly. I think it's guitar. Oh. I think it's just guitar. It's guitar. I think it's just okay. guitar rhythm. Nice. nice. All right, so we're gonna play. Uh, would you consider this Jovian influence song? Yeah. Okay, so this is a Jovian influence song. All right, cool. We'll be back. <laughs> Thank you. 
That was dope. That was dope. Thank you. Well, what do you, um, like, will your work on, like, how you make the guitar sound, like, it's, I wouldn't say it's, like, like a lullaby or anything, like, nothing, like, too soft like that, like, 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 how do you make it sound like that? Like, it sounds <laughs> like there's, like, you, like, there's this, like, strumming going on where it's, like, it, like, echoes and sounds like it's, like, like a harp, you know, like, like, there's, like, a guitar and, like, this, like, like the, this, like, yeah, like, and it's, like, mm-hmm. it's just, like, would that be the delay? Yeah, the the delay is like uh, the re- repetition or the echo of the oh, guitar, okay. and then there's the reverb, which is like when you're in a hallway or something, mm-hmm. and you make a sound, and it kind of like okay. reverberates, you okay. know. So that's what it makes sound like spacious. Of... And... That's what it sounds like. It's like, what, how is <laughs> right, it it's like sound? A, dude, Carl, I have so many of Carlos's songs that just like oh, they make me feel. What would you consider your genre like? Um, would you say shoegaze? I like shoegaze. What's so, shoegaze? really inspired by it. It's a. It, where does the type, do you think it comes from? Just like making you want to just like stare at your feet and kind of think about your well, life. I think it originated from like all the pedals the guitarists use. Okay, and there's so like staring always, at their shoes. Okay, you know? that's actually that makes way more sense. That's actually really fucking cool. But at the same time, it's so much going on, like so much sound. That just kind of space out mm-hmm. sometimes. That's what I think about shoegaze is I think about like very like spacey and like, uh, whoa. Yeah. But you do it well. Like I don't hear anyone else like going for that sound. A lot of people don't really know about it. Mm-hmm. So it's an uncommon sound. Would you say you have your own sound though for the most part? I feel like I've had my own style kind of pinned down by now. That's good. When when can anyone expect any any releases anywhere? <laughs> <laughs> Put in the pin down. Yeah. Um, the drop in the hammer. Come on, man. No. I, mean, I, I no just yes. need the No yes. <laughs> I just need to get on it. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's what just record things, you know. I have, I have the resources, I just need to do you it. You would do your own recording. Yeah, I don't I don't wanna be signed to anyone. Yeah. Wouldn't even want to have do. somebody else own my music, yeah. you know, or do the studio anywhere else, or sell my soul, sound. Mm-hmm. soul, my right. image or something. I don't know. Well, Carlos, eight five sixty one's got a, a contract for you. <laughs> <laughs> no, we would just distribute your music for you if you want, and make music videos. Yeah, you could keep all the money. You, you've already made videos for me. I know. We're we're integrated. Exactly. You're part of the company. Yeah. How old was are those music videos? Those were actually the first uh, A5631 videos, but that was back whenever it was Sandman Hill Productions. It was like three, four years ago? 2016. It was like whenever FWF broke up, we were like, before we started jamming, we would like... I, I We would just do things. <laughs> yeah, just hang out. And um, I don't... What the fuck inspired us to make the music video that day? Which one? Like Damir, we just had a Wilfred costume and just yeah. like, oh, let's, just do, like, let's something. do something. With it. And <laughs> it's then we so made... weird. It's such a weird type of music video. With that, I, I just had like some like... random electronic yeah. music I made. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of my it's favorite good, though. videos. Though. I know. I like that song. I like yeah. Inches of Dust and um, mm-hmm. the Clock's Hands Rotate Around the Sun. Yeah. That was my favorite. The Clock's Hands. That video was just me and Efren. We were. Tr- <coughs> We were trying to like just improv this idea we had of like two guys going out into the desert to bury this girl, mm-hmm. and they were kind of just like going out to see the spot. And we just used this like rough footage, and we I edited together a video with it. And then inches of dust, I remember everybody was hanging out at Billy's house, and we were just like, let's. And it was supposed to be like a continuation and like a part two of the Damir video because, you know, at the beginning, Mr. Esh, Eli Esh, is pounding on the fucking door. Let me in. Let me in. Which I slowed the video down, but then I, I changed the octave of his voice to make it his octave. 
And then, um, and then you know, he walks into the bathroom and he sees Carlos's dead body in the fucking bathroom. And <laughs> then Carlos is Carlos is a DJ ghost. <laughs> In the video, Carlos is like a DJ ghost. It kind of raven. And- Harley is dressed as kick ass. Dito is in the red man costume. Efren's wearing a mask. Zach Zach's is a wearing witch. a mask. I'm holding a camera. There's a strobe light going off. <laughs> what a video. Yeah. Amazing. There are some times like in that video and like in other videos I make that... Um, like, I synchronize things, like, not on purpose, but then I'll notice it later, and I'm just like, fuck. Awesome. I'm glad that hit right there. And I'm pretty sure I'm the only one that notices these little details, but. Craziest Samoa thing that's ever happened to you? Me? Yeah. Uh. Party or just something. Just hanging out with people. My mind is blank. Mind is blank? It's just drawing blank? I mean, the UFOs are pretty cool. The UFOs. Yeah. Over the mountains, there's oh, these big UFOs. UFO or... Yeah, they just... I've seen some crazy shit. Where, where at? Which mountains? The um, Galeros or... Mount yeah, yeah, yeah. The Galeros? You yeah. see UFOs there? Yeah, they pop up like... Low or... You see them on your toes? Just over the mountains, or? just like right over the mountains. The plateaus. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 What the fuck? Do you, you see them see with that? your telescope? What no, you just see them just whenever you're driving down the street. Motherfucker. Dude, I do not pay attention over there. Like, I remember last time I saw them, they uh, they appeared like just three dots, just like like a triangle, you know? Do you believe we're not alone, Carlos? But then they um spiraled out like a triangle together, like, yeah, synchronized. Going. And then they disappeared together like that. like Dude, <laughs> fucking gnarly shit, bro. I've seen some crazy shit in San Juan. That's what scares me about the desert. Like, there's so much you can see and how just open like, it is. The aliens it's just, just like, we're trying to stockpile on all the species. <laughs> <laughs> but I remember, know I, remember, I remember me, Efren, and Colton Smith were jogging one day. And um, we fucking, we were just like running down first. And all of a sudden, the sky got really bright. And there's just like this big, bright light. It was like this big orb. It was just like really bright. And then all of a sudden, it just sucked back in. It was gone. And I was just like, what the Yo, fuck? Lauren Delgado told me about the same exact thing. Really? Yeah. I what? guess she saw the same thing. What the uh, like, fuck? How, like, I'm, that's pretty intense. <laughs> that's like, pretty intense. I, I guess my mom saw the Phoenix Lights. Like, they were living in Phoenix when that shit happened, Oh, I guess. my God. That's scary. That's fucking yeah, scary. Yeah, that was near my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> they were just like, Carlos is here. Yeah. It's like we finally landed what a, a reptile human. It's a boy. Carlos, do you think, do you think you're um, part chameleon? Chameleon? Are you a reptile person? Are you a crab person? No. no. I'm a little monkey. Are you Yaki? Yeah. Yeah. Soba? He's a monkey person. <laughs> uh, what? 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 I watched this documentary that said that UFOs or flying saucers are actually Nazi technology. You know what, dude? There's a video game that might prove that logic. The Nazis made it to the moon. But if the, no, but in this video game, if the Nazis made it to the moon, they would apparently establish a base on the moon. There'd be Nazi headquarters up on space. Uh, bring up the Foo Fighters again. It, it, no, it'd be, they'd be the Fuhrer Fighters. No, the Foo Fighters... <laughs> Those were the Germans. Oh, were they? God damn it, David. God damn you, David Grohl. What are you doing? <laughs> the Nazis... Um, You've been a mess since your Kirk's li- left you. They're the little green... Have people. you been watching the Blue Channel? Oh, my God. Taking it back. Blue Foos? <laughs> you know what's crazy? We could play an old sketch and just hear the audio of like one of the old monkey businesses. I'm not saying we're going to, but... Oh, my God. Why? Which one are you thinking? <laughs> I'm just thinking of the... Have you been watching the Blue Channel? You, you've been a mess since your wife left you. Nick's poor acting. Oh, uh, dude, it doesn't matter. Maybe it sounds better in audio. It maybe it does. Test me out, almonds. Maybe, Test me maybe out. Maybe later in the episode, I wanted to. I wanted like before, like I want to play some more of Carlos's songs. I want to play Daymare for sure. Okay, okay, we can do that. Of That's course. my least favorite song. That's really? your least favorite. Really, it's one of my yeah. favorite. I hate you now. <laughs> I don't like you as an artist. I just <laughs> realized that. <laughs> you know, he's one of those guys that says, you know, he made that great song and then he just didn't like and it. He like never plays yeah, it. Yeah, he never plays it live. 
<laughs> like, God well, damn it. Yeah. Like, appreciate what you have, man. Ugh. Yeah. But, All right. So, no, anyway, I'm here's Damien. Here. man. Like, I, <laughs> sure, I, sure. Hey. <laughs> Let's play tripping balls into bar. And remember that one, Carlos? No. No, I'd have to go get my fucking hard drive and plug it in. Holy shit. I've got like some of I dude you you send me a lot of fucking like electronic songs and I was just like now we have fucking harsh realities is over your beat F- now have yeah, yeah, Carlos yeah, remember song. what he's been through hey, yeah you remember this song <laughs> <laughs> well fucking Efren and Efren and Andy used um, one of Carlos's beats for one of their songs in the first Los Lenny's tape. What song harsh realities oh. like, maybe we should listen to that right now you want to play that one all right we can play that one. Oh, Papa! That's a dope beat too. Like, that was the that was a guest request. A guest request. <laughs> nice. I we like have that. a guest request. I, nice. pull it up I like on. that. I like that. I like that. Uh, uh, you got Moxie, kid. <laughs> you got Moxie, kid. What are you two fifty? Okay, Here you're a heavy guy, huh? Yeah, yeah. People that I don't huge. know Carlos is <laughs> uh, Carlos is pushing two fifty. Yeah, I'm pushing. basically Jerry Garcia. <laughs> but, uh, Jerry Garcia minus the heroin. The heroin. <laughs> <laughs> He's just Carlos is a weeder, <laughs> but it's cool. It's it's legal. All right, here's uh, Los Lenny's Loco song "Harsh Reality" with a beat that was made by the Carlos. You want truth? Can you handle it? (laughs) Truth. That's the topic. Light bulbs fluorescent. Eyeballs infested with pictures, slum, drugs, death, and weapons. Cigarettes, coke, honey, bun for breakfast. Looks like Alexis just did another bump. Another one just overdosed to efferents. Which begs the question, did we choose this road in life or did we just waddle down the cobblestone and wander in the wrong direction? Have you ever been so broke and desperate that your only hope suggested pills while you wait for death to set in hope and it's way better when you get to heaven? Have you ever been so disgusted with yourself you bash the mirrors cause you can't stand to stare at your own reflection and the walls looks like it couldn't hold a picture cause the holes you punching from trying to gain control of your own aggression? Shit, you're so dumb you probably don't even get the message. This is a harsh reality. And damn right, I'm sick. I squat to piss and stick my dick in pig intestines. Plus, last week I fucked your chick and forgot to mention that I'm AIDS infected. Well, I think it's AIDS, but I ain't been tested. Anyway, back to the lesson. Have you ever seen a trailer park at 3 a.m.? Have you ever been tossed to the fishes to sink or swim? Have you ever been to Minute Market so bright and blitzy? You might have lost your mind as you stand in line with your bag of chips and walk up to the cashier terrified and scared as you stare at this plastic grin. And have sagging gin bottle falls out your back, you split. Jump into the car that your homie Mac is in, but your spider sense tells you you can't trust a woman, no man, no clerk, no friend, because your only friends on earth is Molly Zan and Percocet. Yeah. This has you a nervous wreck You feel like only by the gun you get respect At this point you've been pushed so far off the edge You won't stop till everyone on earth is dead Molly yeah. And think about that next time you're cruising through your suburb Laughing, joking, singing Molly Percocet And if you don't know what I'm talking about Or been through this shit Then you're probably as naive as a spoiled Jewish kid Hold my crucifix Have you ever been so bored and broke The only thing to do is kick back with bruise to sip? Until the repetitious insanity has you morphing into a fucking lunatic Hold up, I'm losing it Most sex, drugs, and booze again Most sex, drugs, and booze again Most sex, drugs, and booze again I break into the stove by falling through the roof Oh shit My vomit has a purple, pink, bluish tint I wash it down with anal English Patch blue ribbon and Canadian mist Nipsey, rest in peace, you were a G We got some big shoes to fill Let me check your feet, what size you wear Maybe one day I can get them kicks to fit Moment of silence, cut the beats Shot dead trying to give back to his community Now that's some gruesome shit But the truth is, for all we know We'll find you, you were next But I'm too high and Mike in the booth Looking for another tune to finesse I'm confused, dude, is that a mic abreast? That's a reference to track one Low slopes in Budapest Song is an infinite epiphany. Me and Solace words make an instant hit. 
symphony with the beat. You can bump it in the street. You can put it on repeat. Right before you go to sleep. Right before you camp the sheep. I'm the beat. I'm a creep. You ain't gonna hear a beat. Maybe when I start the cheat. Cherokee is fair to me. It's fair to me. Cause you ain't prepared for this reality. Your hourly a salary. Fallacies on. Morgan lost when it's been found. The sound is underground. If it's selling by the pound, take a look around. Did you find it? Are you mad that I sold you a CD and didn't sign it? Decline it. You better stop your whining. You do it all the time and you pause and then rewind it. Just to really find that I will leave you silent. I'm just a little violent, so don't you even try it. I'm fed up with the mileage. Stop it to pay homage to the ones who started rhyming. Solace at climbing the ladder of success. We Learned it from the best. Mumble rappers need to give it up or lay the mic to rest. Gripping is gaining, restraining your brain. Leaving liquid leakage dripping from the tip of your sneakers. You hanging up on my wall with nine inch nails in your palms. For assurance, I promise, little buddy, you ain't gonna fall till next fall. You coming down with the leaves, coming down with some highs. So when you see me, just leave, cause I've been taking some lives. With the number of lives. You live in a harsh ass reality But that depends on your mentality And how you be running deep and working late Every shift that you can get to give your family a plate Come on now Stanley, it's fate I know you plan to escape But I'll be damned if I said that I can't Shit, I was put here to rant and do the rock away Y'all yeah, been sniffling coke And now you're starting to smoke So put the rock away Anything you'd like to say about that song? Yes. Say it. Oh, that was it. All right. That's Carlos, the man of mystery. Yeah. <laughs> He's the solution. The solution. Oh, I remember having to just... We, I've known Carlos forever. And I remember having to go drive to pick you up in Oro Valley for fucking band practice. Which sucked. But then you moved... You moved... Moved to San Juan. As soon as they moved to San Juan, the band yeah. broke up. And then everybody else, moved, <laughs> and then everybody moved out of fucking <laughs> town. Yeah. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> no, there's a time where me and Efren were just like jamming every day. Yeah. And that was the beginning of Toilet, really. Pretty much. Yeah. Those are early and Jeff, days. Yeah, Jeff, Jeff Hubbard. Remember when, when Dito Borg would always come around? <laughs> <laughs> Michael Dito Borg. I saw Dito uh, the last time I was here. Yeah? Yeah, afterwards when I went to Dollar General. I asked him how he's doing. He looked good. Did he tell you about his daughter? Yeah, I asked him. I, I said congratulations. I said congratulations. I congratulate. Work Post so Malone. hard, go take po- vacation. Mm-hmm. Post Malone was there. Posty? Posty? <laughs> post? Postmates? Postmates. Yo, Postman. Me some post- <laughs> Postmated me some Postman. Posty. <laughs> Some posty and toasty. Ha! Go to business. That one's for you, Andy. I hate you, dude. Shouts I out. I hate you. I literally hate Ron you. Ron Doggy. <laughs> He's not listening. He's never listening. He never was. Hey. Your, your dad listens? Always hasn't been. My girlfriend says she wants to listen. She's not going to listen. Does she? She says she would. Why doesn't she? She has a phone that can access Yeah, but it. like, you know, but everyone doesn't have their time to listen to us. They're so busy masturbating and going to their work that they don't like. And you shitting know? at work and scrolling uh-huh. through Facebook at yeah. work. Scrolling you know? past. I can understand. Skipping through all of my, my stories, promoting it. Not looking at me. But I can't understand these strangers not looking at me. Right? They have time. Uh, they Stranger- have time. Strangers have time. That's what I'm saying. I can't imagine having an OnlyFans like Yeah, it's a lot to keep up with, probably. Yeah. <laughs> you imagine if you had an OnlyFans, yeah. would you show your face or would you 
Be no face. Mask? Oh, I, I would get Slipknot mask. <laughs> <laughs> the big nose. Yeah, dude. <laughs> it's just like that's disorienting. Uh, you have a realistic Johnny Depp Edward mask. Scissor hand mask. You're wearing a Nixon mask. Richard Nix- Nixon mask. Obama. Just, <laughs> just oh, Bill Clinton. Just gallons of lube. Just like you know, like you know, like I got. You even change your voice. I just like gallons of lube, and you fuck it. You fuck, you're fucking yeah, but him. it's like going everywhere, and you have this video, <laughs> and everybody's just like Richard Nixon, and stop. Then, <laughs> 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 He's like, Simu- I am not a crook. Simulate <laughs> pornography for uh, Richard Nixon. Richard Nixon. If you are man, no, Richard Nixon. Who wants to see Richard Nixon fucking? No one. I, no, I'm sure that's you a thing. Yeah, I'm Dude, sure does, that's a does thing. Does anybody think there's a rule about that? Like, I would, I would, I've thought about it. Like, imagine making porn era porn. Like, I think I'd be like, but actual era porn where it's like kind of realistic, but you're seeing penetration. You know, like, I'm just like, I bet people would be into era porn. Like, oh, so kind of like, taken seriously, but not like like in a cosplaying. Way, uh, like, or just like you know, like a kind of like a set piece. Where yeah, it's like back in time. Yeah, but you, you're like steampunk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. They're on like dude, a, a they're on so much. Yeah, dude, I, uh, <laughs> oh, dude, that's amazing. It's uh, like Spy Kids era. It's, it's just, like crazy looking green screen. There's George Lopez. Like George Lopez is a little Mr. Electro or whatever. Oh god. People. Uh, Fucking Robert Rodriguez. Steampunk. What the fuck? That was crazy. Dude, that was ah, crazy. Steampunk. Yeah. What, uh, that was before the prehistoric era. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's the Fire Nation the, attacked. Uh, there's the steampunk era. The eco steampunks. Dinosaurs. The dinosaur steampunk era. That was kind of, that was very iffy. That's whenever the dinosaurs found the, the remains of the steampunk era. Could we say there was? <laughs> the steampunk era before the steampunk era? Like, <laughs> yeah. It's um, the 1800s or something. <laughs> there's a, uh, so there's a, um, B S. Is the Wild e- West e- with Will Smith? So there's the B-S-P-E steampunk? before steampunk so. era. And then there's A-S-P-E, um, which is after steampunk era. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so there's B- Wait, but is Wild West with Will Smith a steampunk movie? So yes. that's where we yes. get that's where yes. we get crazy because okay. you know there pretty much there was a whole steampunk society that lived its own life. It's of, called Burning Man. No. So pretty much we're all of America and like all of history is rewritten without the steampunk. But we're based off of the steampunk, the industrial that, that happened before us. So there was a steampunk Wild West. Okay. And where do you think Wild West came from? Okay. They just they just got rid of all like, the steampunk, like the steampunks. Christianity and- ruined steampunk. But there's steampunks in the Revolutionary Jesus War. Jesus died. A to- steampunk? No. Oh. He was totally again. He died for all the steampunk sins. And that's where God was just like, I'm done with this. God was a steampunk. <laughs> I know Mark's going to have a hard time swallowing this pill, but God is a steampunk. This is but turning me on. <laughs> your steampunk girlfriend. I can't. What does a, what's a steampunk girlfriend like? Like what, you know what, does, it, what does she eat? Like what? Like <laughs> She eats bolts. <laughs> yeah, like, like, like she she eats eat. bolts in like muck. She, <laughs> Because you know, uh, obviously, is this steam? Is, are all steampunk eras dystopian? No, no, because they're like living in the clouds, right? They kind of they're they're all living in the clouds, they, but they're usually flying. Like, they, what you, about grunge steampunk? Uh, so what about crust steampunk? What about ska <laughs> steampunk? <laughs> <laughs> what about, what about sucker for the steampunk? Uh, sour. <laughs> Steampunk, if they were grunge, they'd just be wearing flannels, so it doesn't even matter. Grunge. Steampunks, this is what we're... Dude, no, grunge steampunk started in, in, um, in fucking... I, I forgot. Uh, steampunk Seattle. Yeah. Where did... What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I went to the steampunk, steampunk Space Needle, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like the regular Space Needle, but steampunk. Steampunk <laughs> Dude, it's a we're gonna go We're gonna go to the steampunk and patch. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
your dogs a theme park. <laughs> <laughs> my dogs skip. <laughs> skip. <laughs> skip. <laughs> Uh, what do you drive? <laughs> what are you? Uh, Jimmy stuck in a steampunk wall? <laughs> a train. The barn's on steampunk. Train. <laughs> the steampunk barn's on. <laughs> no, dude. You drive a fucking Zeppelin. You drive a Zeppelin. <laughs> you drive a Zeppelin that's on, like, can go onto train tracks on two. <laughs> you, you drive in Zeppelins that go into a bigger Zeppelin in the sky. <laughs> And then that Zeppelin goes into a spaceship. It's like a fucking submarine that like lands and it's still Zeppelin in you underwater. Ima- can you imagine landing your spaceship on a bigger spaceship that's going to just go land itself on a planet space system? What the fuck's going on, dude? Like, is is that just fucking? Is that ship fucking? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What, dude? What you a lot. Just like- I said like. Can you imagine just like going and docking your ship onto a bigger ship and okay. then that ship just docks itself? Like that ship carries you to a bigger just space station that's just floating on an asteroid. Uh-huh. Is that just ship fucking? <laughs> 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 yes, it is. So would you so would that consi- would you, would you consider your ship like a colony or would the colony be the bigger ship? You, that carries other ships. That's or a would good, that be a transport? That's a question. It's that, a babushka. That, that, <laughs> What's it's a, a fucking bushka? Russian nesting doll. Yeah. Oh, You know, like, you, you, the big doll, and then you pull the smaller ones out. Yeah. Oh, my God. Imagine life and inside, like that, in, Inside dude. your ship, you have a microchip that has its own but life then, form. But then who controls it all at the end ship? Steampunk God. Steampunk <laughs> God, dude. But his name is Larry. Oh, <laughs> God. Whenever he's working the fucking shift at the space dock. I think I'm going to die tonight <laughs> from that. <laughs> The steampunks <laughs> They carry you away Steampunk, dude. steampunk Cambridge <laughs> Dude they're not aliens They're steampunks Steam- Steampunk stole me in my sleep For some reason uh, steampunk- Steampunks ate my homework Steam- Steampunk stole my t-shirt Steampunks <laughs> defy the laws of physics With just steam alone I dude, can't So steampunks are people that got fascinated on the coal era yeah. and steam, like steam engines. Yeah. <laughs> steam engine and coal. Okay, so so what you're telling me is coal and mines steel. are still very prevalent in the steampunk era. <laughs> Where do they go, dude? Where do they get all the coal from? They, they go to the coal planets. Dude, are steampunks they don't use planet they, invaders? They don't use fossil fuel. Dude, what if aliens are just dinosaurs that got smart enough to fucking... Joined the steampunk revolution <laughs> and they got out of here before they knew that fucking the two party system was going to take over. Like, that sounds like, dude, and if you knew- stopped using steam, <laughs> exactly. They were like, they started using the bones of my brethren. <laughs> 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 that fucking. I, oil is it? Oil is dinosaurs, bro. It, but it's also steampunk because it comes from older. You know, they're not using oil. Steampunks are using oil. No, they're using coal. Yeah, and whale oil. So coal? pretty much what you're they're using seal oil. So what you're shit. telling me is Hank is not steampunk because he's part of the new the new age where they got rid of steampunk. Who's Hank? New age steampunk. Hank Hill. Hank Hill. No, he is because he's thing. propane. So would you consider propane like from the oil industry, right? Yes. Because it's no, like gas. It's in the gas. So, but gas isn't coal because you can use charcoal. And that's coal. Propane isn't reusable, reusable, huh? No. Yeah. Is charcoal reusable? No. What's re, re electron electricity is reusable? Uh, electricity yes. is it, it, re, electricity can it, be. It's in energy. Oh, yeah. So we can make it reusable, but we don't. Fuck. You know, all of life comes down to ones and zeros, uh, plus and minus. Are you, are you saying everything's binary? Yeah. So if I life write on my house. I know we're trying to break the <laughs> it might change into what I want. So what you're telling me is if we get a microscope and we just start looking down at things, it's all just ones and zeros. It's yeah. steampunk. <laughs> it's steampunk. Uh, well, in the digital age, everything, you know, all files are ones and zeros. Yeah. Is that what you mean? Well, you have like electricity. There's all these forms of energy. There's a plus and minus. There's a well, flow of just- energy. Wouldn't that just be everything can be oh, just so, made Just so you guys binary? don't doubt Carlos's knowledge on this, Carlos is an IT guy. So fuck anybody that just tried to be like, Carlos doesn't know <laughs> shit about this. I overstepped my boundary. I'm sorry, Carlos. I want to know more about it. So there's just like, so... You know, planets turn in one direction. Yes. That's... I'm aware of saying... Positive, negative energy flowing into each other, you know? Yeah. And that transfer... that That's... 
parallel to any form of energy. Like electricity has its plus and minus. Mm-hmm. So what you're saying is, if we were to go but, set up like some something that gets so every planet's rotating, right? Yeah. Um, so if we were to somehow set up like um, I don't know, like giant power lines on other planets. And we just got power from them rotating, and we could send it to America. We could possibly save the human race by using free power of the solar stars. Yeah, there you go. There you go, NASA. We know that that you listen. Have you heard of a Dyson sphere? I've heard of a Dyson vacuum ball. What's a Dyson sphere? It's um like if a technological society i literally fucking hate it <laughs> why the fuck would you say that <laughs> so oh, if a society is advanced enough they're gonna use the biggest source of energy they can humans which is a sun oh so if you completely cover a sun with like solar panels or something that uses How, that sun's energy though? how would we do that you just diamonds you know, build around the sun. So there, dude, there's this, um, this, there's this Ray Bradbury story, and it's called Golden Apples of the Sun, and it's about this ship who would go harness like the sun for energy. Yeah, so that, that's the best source of energy you can get. Are you saying that that's what we're gonna do? Is it like if we if we can't figure out what to do, like that, someone might throw that on the table as a legitimate idea. But I think scientists have like found evidence of one. Of a sun that we can, like... Of a sun that's been, like, used by someone or something, you know? By the steampunks. (laughs) Yes. (laughs) They're like, they're like, the coal planet, what do you know? Ran out of coal. (laughs) (laughs) All of our shit runs on steam. And we never thought, hey, is this steam reusable? We need more steam. We've been drinking our condensation, our steam, you know, yeah, of course, we've been hydrating ourselves. A lot of people have been dying from the chemicals of the steam water, but... Lead poisoning. We live until 25. The year is 20, 21. The steampunks have taken over. They came back to take over the earth. They're just blowing hot steampunk, air on you. Steampunk God, the steampunk God's leading the charge. <laughs> and he's just like, that's not very steampunk of you. And you got steampunk Jesus nailed to the fucking metal cross. But, like, there's, like, a bunch of crazy designs flared out at the end of the cross. And, you know. Steam. <laughs> and, no, there's, it's just a bunch of... He's he's nailed to a... It's like... This, a, a cross made of mufflers. Yeah, dude, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> and he's, they're just, like, on a giant ghost train that's also a steamboat ship. I hate you. Soul train. That's amazing. Soul train's playing. And steampunk Snoop Dogg's <laughs> performing. Steampunk And he's Snoop just Dogg. sipping some steampunk gin and juice. With some steampunk oranges. <laughs> what's next, guys? What's next for us? Five years from now, what's next? Rehab. Some oh people my God, are not nothing else. Because <laughs> after rehab, sobriety, and then we lose all of our. Artistic value. Uh-huh. And then... Um, but we then look- we find our rebirth. Somewhere in there. What? I don't know. I don't know. This pen is... We're sponsored by um, Globber Dobbers. <laughs> Globber Dobbers is a... Well, you know... It'll do what you need it to do, and it will get you feeling great. Could you do a podcast, Carlos? No. No, you couldn't do a podcast. I could probably stream, though. You could stream. Like video game stream? Yeah, play some Silent Hill or something. Oh, dude, I would love that. If we were to set up a space, like if we were to get an office and set up a space, like for you to put a desk, would you go and just like stream there all the time? Get like some really good internet. Like, Like set you up with a nice chair. Are you a like horror a nice game guy, background. or is it just like uh, horror games are nice as long as they're like good? Because you have a which PC. is kind of rare nowadays. Uh-huh. So when's like the la- what would you say was the last good horror game that came out? Uh, that's hard to say. Have you played like any like The Last of Us or anything? No, I think the last that's one. more like survival. I yeah, think it's survival or Dying Light. I think was it was that was it was called? yeah that was pretty good. That was like I don't it's know. I remember one. watching Billy play that game. Yeah. 
Evil Within. That's that, what it was. That's the yeah. That, that was intense. What's that one? I don't remember what it's about, but it's pretty intense. <laughs> it's like, don't you end up in like some? You're like a psychiatrist that ends up in your patient's dream or something. That sounds familiar. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Holy shit! Some crazy shit like that. Um, have you ever played Doom? I remember Nick told me to play Doom, and then I bought it, and I was like, "This game's fucking awesome." Just going to kill. You him. just need to beat it. Exactly. That, like, game, that game's hard. I'm stuck at the part where it's just like the giant demon and he starts throwing like the, the walls up and he's like, you just can only face him like head on. You can't just be like running in circles around him. You just like, ah. Did you? I'm stuck there. You can't beat him or is there something you're doing wrong? I don't know. I just haven't, I haven't, I gave up on it for a second and now I've just been wandering through video games. Recently I played Halo. No I was playing Halo for, for I was a while. Trying to play online, dude. No one, no one's playing matches. PC only. is popping. I know it's what's bullshit. I need something <laughs> cross platform. So that is Halo's cross platform, right? I don't think so. No, damn, dude. Probably not. I wish. I, I just downloaded um, they called Cthulhu. It's from Bethesda. Oh shit! What's yeah, that one? how old is that one? It's pretty old, but it's good so far. Is it overhead? What is it? What kind of style of game? First person? Uh, it's like first person. What nice. genre? I, it's kind of horror oh, okay. so far. You're a big fan of H.P. Lovecraft. Yeah. H.P. Lovecraft. Are you going to watch any of that show that's coming out? The Lovecraft? No. <laughs> Company, no? No. No, you're just like, I don't care what mainstream does with it. No, I don't care. Fuck them. Yeah, that's why I didn't watch Twilight. Did you read the books? No. Are they good? No. I don't never read them. Oh, I need to know couldn't, that. Couldn't say. I didn't know Twilight was a book. <laughs> the shit they still won't tell you, huh? Twilight? Yeah. Yeah, dude. It, it was like, dude, Hunger Games, those were books. Yeah, I know the, that. The, the, the but diver- I didn't like Hunger Games. The Divergent series, which I found out they actually went through and made all three of those books. I mean, all three of the movies from the books. I was like, dang, dude, I thought they gave up because... Yeah, I but I didn't know the Twilight. About I didn't... This. Twilight, that's crazy. Yeah. I need to read those books. Stephanie, my, she actually she still like, need to read. Uh, she's actually Lovecraft. releasing a new book. Who? The 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 writer of Twilight is supposedly releasing a new book. Oh, that's disgusting. I guess she made her millions. Shrek Better was a book. Shrek, Shrek was, was a book. Shrek was a book. Well, can we take a minute to talk about Shrek's ears? What about them? What about them? Have you seen them? Yeah. I'm like what the fuck? He cleans, they're like he cleans them too. Yeah, they're like. The shape of them, like, why? <laughs> They're like trumpets. They make me uncomfortable. They are kind of uncomfortable. They're like holes in his head. They're like little tubes. Yeah. Well, dude, that movie was supposed to be totally different. Like, the original drawings with it, with Chris Farley, he didn't have ears like that. He had, like, he had longer hair. He looked kind of more like Chris Farley. Yeah. And he had, like, a big old, he had a big old chin. You guys ever watch Arthur? You guys know Buster from Arthur the Big Old Bulldog? Yeah. Kind of looked like that. He looked a little bit like a giant bulldog. <laughs> And and it was like more. It was like, it seemed a little more sentimental. Chris, it seemed like it would have been one of Chris Farley's most heartfelt roles. And watching it is depressing because yeah, seeing what they put out for because it because you see you find been. out that Chris Junkie Farley, uh, you fucking couldn't Such couldn't take fan. being Shrek, bro. Mm-hmm. Shrek, he was method acting for Shrek, and that's what killed him. He was like Shrek would do heroin. The story's about an ogre that did heroin and Holy now shit. is trying to, like, not do heroin <laughs> and he's trying to do something magical. And he's like, get out of my swamp. I'm not doing heroin here. I don't want you guys to find my poppy filled. I don't want Shrek now. Dude, I'm, you mean you're going to go watch about those VHS. ears. It's like if you were to put something through those ears, it would just touch his brain, right? Or at least his skull. He's like an M&M kind of. Like, his head looks kind of like an m M&M and His head is egg-shaped, definitely. I do want some M&M's now. Ooh. Wait, M&M's probably is better. What are, what are your favorite M&M type? I don't know. Pretzels. I like the pretzels. The Reese's M&Ms. Pieces. You like Reese's Pieces? Those aren't even M&M's. Those are, that's just Reese's marketing on a very good idea. Oh, Reese's Pieces. Yeah. That's weird. That looks like... Um, right? It's just... Like that one character's <laughs> nose. He's like an alien more than a yo- ogre. That movie is crazy. What? Do you ever like see the scenes that was just like, here's some hidden details about like the, Mama Bear dead. Yeah, the, the bearskin rug and like and the, he little, has a the boner little bony and the little bony. That movie was crazy. That movie was funny I as fuck, it, dude. Dude, you know what's funny though? It's just like they added these 
to subliminal messages. They're like, no, they added those for the fucking adults. So yeah. They would catch them, so they would laugh, and then so that whenever you're in it, whenever you're older, you can find, you can see these things and laugh at it. Uh huh. Your but, kids are laughing because oh, it's how I didn't goofy it is. That. You know? Yeah, dude. Do you think kids like pay that much attention to what they're saying? Like dialogue slips. They're like they're waiting kids. for the person to fall or someone like. To get, like, burnt in the ass, you know, someone... Shine your shoes, you, wipe your You know, the face. W- the one they like the most is, oh, he touched the butt, you know, because they're just saying butt. Yeah. But, like, that's the one that, like, you always know about. But, like, you don't remember anyone else saying anything about a butt. Yeah. Except for this little fish touching a boat. <laughs> yeah, that's a good butt joke. Oh shit, damn. <laughs> I'm retarded. Can't say that word? I don't got anything for that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, see so yeah, not... Then tell me what you You're gotta a say. You're a joke, buddy. Okay, dude. Nikki The Rain Man Valenzuela. I can count cards. Probably not. I hang out with Tom Cruise. Have you got, you've gone to the casino? Yeah, I, I made a hundred dollar profit. How much did you spend? Twenty bucks. Have you been to the casino yet, Carlos? No, I haven't been to the casino yet. Either. Everybody tells me I should though. You should. It's fun. I can. I want to go to the casino. Well, just next because time I want to take a lot. Of money. I only want to, dude. Like, That's how fun. It is. I see. I see people that are like. Like dudes I went to high school with, like always going to the casino, and they're like, "Came up a thousand some bucks," and I'm just like, "Fuck, dude!" No, I don't want to go. Mm-hmm. I just want to like make a little bit of money because then dude, press that button for me. What the end? Crickets, bitch! <laughs> Fuck you! Wah wah wah! I hate you! I hate you guys! Yes, thank you! I hate you guys so much! I'm sorry, guys. I hate you. Can you stop? You're demeaning me now. Thank you. <laughs> I just like going through them. All right, you're listening to the Those are the default podcast. settings. That's how much work we put into this. Yeah, we don't have any. It's okay. We know the best one you've heard so far. Which was the best one you've heard, we've heard so far? What? What? This podcast. This is a good podcast. Yeah. This is fun. You, uh, I forgot that we were at the our beginning. Our best one, though, I'll tell you, Carlos. Steampunk. <laughs> <laughs> steampunk. <laughs> I see the steampunk segment. Dude, that steampunk, I like that. that. That shit was awesome. But the commercial episode. Oh, dude, we can never relive. But after we're, after this episode, after we stop recording this, I want to pull up the, like this the part two that we never aired. I want to pull that up and just listen to it. All right. We're going to wrap this episode up. We're an hour and whatever, dude. You're listening to this podcast. Um, thanks for listening to this podcast, Mark. Wait, wait, wait. You guys have no energy to do a song? Oh, no. We're going to play a song out. Play a song out? Oh, oh. do you want us to play a song? I want you to play a song. You want to play a song, Carlos? Can Carlos play a song? On, on guitar? Yeah. Wait, but can it be one of those songs? What One of what songs? One of the songs off of here? Are, yeah. you, are we going to play a toilet song? Yeah. You can play a toilet song. Give Carlos your headphones, though. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. Get that sound in. Try to All right. Try to get the sound in for yourself, Carlos, so you yeah. really know how to play. Just uh, strum just strum it out first to see how it sounds. Uh, yeah, decide a song, I guess. Yeah. What song do you want to play, Carlos? Play something that I'm not going to fuck up. <laughs> Down my uh, mic so I, in case I make uh, any other noises. <laughs> Thanks. All right, take it, girls. I thought I saw you. Alone and howling for you
ghost white moon So much I have to say to you Run out of time once more again You're not here right now Why can't I wake up? Somehow, I know we'll meet again, but I can't pretend. Down a little bit right there. But I can't feel your touch. Yeah, that's where we're going to We'll end that one right there. I fucked up a little bit towards the end. It's kind of hard without the drums, but... That was good. Yeah, that, that was cool. I mean, for just like not ever really practicing it acoustic, I think we did it pretty good. And yeah. not remembering it earlier. And I'm playing yeah, vertically. You the way you're playing. I, I kind of want to take, let me take a picture of how you're playing because that's just a good memory. <laughs> Get birth in the background. Perfect. All right. Should we end this with a real song? Not a real song, because that's a real song. That's a toilet song that um, maybe you'll hear on uh, an acoustic EP that will be dropping sometime soon. Hopefully, if we get the if we get it recorded. Uh, Carlos, do you want to say anything to anybody that's listening? Uh, Mark Sanchez is a big listener, so eat your vegetables. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Forgot thank to turn you. Nick back up. It was thank you for doing the podcast, Carlos. Thank you, Carlos's first podcast. Thank you, Carlos. He, he would only do it for us. You're one of the few, and you're one of the most majestic fans. Thank you. And I don't think we'll ever talk about steampunk as uh, good. I hope not <laughs> as that. <laughs> like we, those were some good yeah. fucking steampunk yeah, jokes. And like if that. you don't, whoever I don't want to talk about steampunk. <laughs> <laughs> Either. <laughs> Whoever's listening, if you don't think those steampunk sections were funny, well, fuck you. Unsubscribe to this podcast. You've it's lost a fan. Uh, okay, we're going to end this. What do you want, Carlos? Daymir. Uh, I know you don't want Daymir. What do you want? Uh, Clock Sands. Clock Sands. Okay, that's a very beautiful one. We're going to end this. Uh, well, I got to say a few things before I put that song on, but um, we're going to end this podcast with. Carlos's song, The Clock's Hands Rotate Around the Sun, which, you know, we talked about earlier. I mean, me and Efren made a music video for a while back. But um, so thanks for listening to this episode. Thank you, everyone, for listening to this episode. Um, if you are a subscriber or, you know, you follow 85631 Productions, then you will know through an Instagram story that we posted that starting in 2021, let the Freaks Speak will be switching over into a show that carries seasons versus just randomly uploading episodes. And what that means is we will be uploading a series of episodes pertaining to the season over a, like a maybe two month span of time. This is all happening because Nick's bailing on the project. Just kidding. Nick's got an opportunity to go live back in the Golden State. And as a kid that was born there, Obviously, I understand his long to go back. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> He's going back to go mooch off of someone. Dude, stop. Okay. Don't embarrass me too much. But that's the situation. We're going to work with it. Hopefully, I won't bail out and, you know. No, we're going to work with it. That's why we're switching to seasons. Hopefully, you know, mm-hmm. Nick will come down. We'll record a season. We'll release that season. Then I will go up and I'll record a season with Nick in California. And, you know, you'll be able to tell the difference because our California seasons will probably sound like we're like in California. Yeah, there'll be, be surfer dudes just coming in and out. Exactly. We'll interview because, surfer you know, dudes. Oh, my God. Fr- <laughs> <laughs> Frat surfer dudes. <laughs> Frat surfer dudes. <laughs> All right. Thanks for listening. Uh, if you want more information, you can go to 8561.com. That's 85SIX31.com. I still have to pull up that that song. So, I'm take it away, Horchata Nick. Lopez. No, you're not. And that's 
the best guy ever, Nicholas Bearcat Valenzuela, and we had Carlos beatboxing Velasquez. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you can't yeah. carry. I need you to. No, dude. Hey, I, stretch. No, stretch. Yo, hey, dude. Hey, I was hey, stretching. Stand up. I was hey, stretching. Yeah, I was stretching. Hey, stretch. Okay, okay, hey, okay, okay. I'm still trying to figure this out. Let me hear this. Stretch. Okay, okay. I got this. I got this. So, there was this guy, Orchata Lopez. He came into the bar. He really was speaking out against the man. We all heard him say, Yo, give me the can. He opened it up. It was some veggies. Wow. Yep. Thank you. Jesus. There we go. Did I stretch it enough, Papa? Yeah. Yep. Here's, Laying out the wraps. Here's the clock's hands rotate around the sun by Carlos Velasquez. Thank you for listening to this podcast.